Hello, Brickman here with a look at the Lego Dimensions Portal 2 level pack in my Lego Dimensions recording location. <laughs> so this is set 71203. This was the last level pack released in Wave 1. This includes Shell, the Companion Cube, and the Sentry Turret. And it's retailed for $29.99 in US dollars and includes 85 pieces. So without further ado, let's get into this. Is Chell herself, and she's actually a really well done minifigure. Uh, she has dual molded legs, which is good to get in just a thirty dollars set. And this is of course totally brand new with white and orange. And then she also has this brand new mold for her portal gun, and it's a rubber piece. And I kind of wish it would be plastic. So let me hear. Let me show you. Let you. Let I mean, let me, sorry, let me tell you my complaint. When you try to, like, spin it around in her hand, it doesn't work out, and you feel like you're on the verge of breaking it. So just, like, be careful. Do it small motions at a time if you were to do that. Um, but anyways, it is good. It would be cool if you could get, like, an extra one of these pieces, but in, like, the trans orange, so that you could switch them back and forth, like they do in the actual game. But, uh, they didn't, so, uh, you take a look at her torso printing, pretty good, has the Aperture Science logo, and then her back printing as well. Very commonly used hairpiece, but she has a brand new face as well, with two different sides. So she is pretty well done, and you could also take a look at her exclusive printing on the toy tag that just says Aperture Science, because this was the only portal pack released in LEGO Dimensions. And now here we have the Companion Cube, and this was good to get. It has this exclusive printing on this, like, it's the same printing, but it goes throughout all of these tiles here. And it also has these shields on the side. I mean, this stuff is all for alternate builds, I believe. You even have this heart, I mean. I'll have to take a look at a, the box to see what that is, but here's the actual cube, and that's pretty good to get. And then for the Sentry Turret, it is it's all right uh here all the like you could take one of these and just put them in here if you want if you wanted to <laughs> but this looks pretty good um accurate i would say i never played the portal game but um uh lego dimensions did make me a fan of the franchise you could see those just angle out like that and uh yeah not much else to say about this it is uh pretty useful to get shell for her unique ability of opening portals and then even the companion cube has a unique ability as well and then of course you need this as well to get 100 percent just for the fact that it has a level so you take a look at the box uh look at the sticker i got this at uh gamestop i believe this is the only fat the only pack i got at gamestop and they just had to put that big sticker on it but uh anyways the level itself was pretty entertaining it wasn't based on any source material, I believe. It was actually kind of just like Portal 3, almost. I mean, she returned, I believe. But that, so they, they somehow connected it to the Lego Dimensions plot by just... They, the, the, apparently, spoiler alert, at the end, uh, GLaDOS had the Lego Dimensions uh, gateway. So, pretty, pretty confusing what was going on there. But anyways, here is a look at just some of the testing chambers and sentry turrets and a portal going to a mysterious location that's not in the level i think it's in the adventure world though and then you look at the alternate builds there's the sentry turret does go in accurately into the game like it matches up the pieces if you didn't know a lot of times they'll change it up in the game just because they didn't want to use the actual build for some reason but then there's also the turret striker and the flying turret carrier <laughs> um and then the companion cube also becomes the laser deflector, as well as the gold heart emitter. Alright, so pretty cool stuff. And then also here's a look again at another testing chamber, number 02. So, uh, the level was pretty good, like I already said. And here's just the instruction booklet, last thing. The, the uh, instructions for the actual builds are in the game itself, but... It just gets the minifigure instructions out of the way. <laughs> so that all being said, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for lots more Lego Dimensions Year 1 pack reviews before Lego Dimensions Year 2. Bye!